Hello and welcome back to another CAD clip. In this uh, lesson uh, or series, I should say mini series, we're going to show you some really neat things about using Revit parts. And uh, I've kind of dabbled with parts over a period of uh, different releases of Revit and I've never really found a good use for it, but I think I finally have found a, a really good use for um, using parts with, with walls in particular where you have a wall and in the past you've been able to do edit profile but that changes the profile of the entire wall then we could also unlock or lock a layer within the wall which would allow you to kind of pull it up or pull it down but that all that did was give you a horizontal line where you could perhaps grab the brick and pull it down beyond the, the bottom of the wall over here so that has been available but to be able to make a varying um, profile on one layer only of the wall be it top or bottom or even on the side uh, has always been challenging and uh, I think we've got it beat here using parts so I um, am using Revit 2014 I've got a cross section over here I've got a 3d view over here and you've just got a, a wall kind of sticking in the back there okay so there's my brick and I've already in this particular uh, video. I've already done the uh, the prep work on uh, dividing the parts up and stuff like that. And I have a little schedule over here. And there's, if you click on here, you can see there's three different parts that have been divided within that. Only the one layer, only the brick layer. The rest of it is is retained as normal. And I'm scheduling the volume, the material name the material volume and the material area so you can see these three guys if I actually go to my schedule now 2014 and I pick in here you'll see it'll actually highlight those components isn't that wonderful so as you pick through here okay you're going to see those parts highlight and then this is just a little floor plan showing you where that cross section is taking place so just keep your eye on the numbers here material area Okay, total of 51 material volume, total of 4.59 cubic meters and square meters. So watch what happens here. What I've done here is I've done the majority of the work and we'll cover this in, in the little mini series that we're going to provide. But all I really need to do is to highlight this guy over here. And then I just say exclude the part. Now watch what's going to happen inside of here. Boom. Okay, it's gone completely. Okay pick on say this one and then exclude that one gone so now I'm getting the material of just the brick that I want for whatever reason I don't want the brick to go up to the top maybe there's some sort of fancy canopy or roof uh, over top and the bottom say the grade is sloping down inside of here and that's what I want my brick to do so I have uh, a layer within the wall where I can exclude the top and bottom which leaves the profile that I want and of course over here it's going to reflect those uh, numbers now watch what else I can do I can pick on this guy watch in here the area and the volume I'm going to uh, eh, maybe I'm gonna pull this grip handle over here boom watch what happens you see this is down to 28.8 let's just watch the 28 and the 2.53 I'm gonna do an undo boom up they go okay I can pick on here I can zoom in and you know I can go to uh, more of a straight on view and then I can grab these grips and stretch them over and you're gonna see these numbers change okay so once I have the um, profile in there okay and I can pick on this guy as well and I'll have to adjust that but we're just dealing with this guy we'll talk more about it later is it is excluding the windows so again I can do this we're gonna see our numbers get a little bit smaller okay um, pick on here swivel around a little bit okay we would have to go back and do some edits on here which isn't a big deal notice it's also including the window so if I take this window watch my numbers get smaller I'm gonna delete the window or the numbers should get bigger I should say because there's more brick click on here delete numbers get bigger okay so uh, that's kind of the um, the tail end of what we're gonna learn in this mini series uh, on using parts to 
uh, be able to manipulate the top and bottom and side profile of just one layer of the wall. I'm using the outside. It could be the inside. It could be even an interior layer. There's individual layers inside of here within this wall system. Okay, so uh, something that I think we've all been looking for uh, for a long time. In fact, some people kind of uh, attempting to write some APIs and stuff to try to skin the wall uh, because we know that generally the outside of the wall um, is usually doesn't follow the top and bottom of the wall itself. That cladding almost always comes down beyond and it's not always just straight at the bottom. Sometimes it can vary as well as at the top. Okay, in this section I've kind of turned off my uh, my crop box but if you pick up in here we can see that guy if we want to bring it back we just have to hit our restore button and it comes back and it shows up in the schedule maybe we want to keep the top instead pick on here exclude that one boom now my schedule changes and I've got that so great little tip on um, uh, manipulating the cladding on the outside of the wall and also being able to uh, track the material uh, quantities.